put in 3482. input output I'll start with digital inputs you have six to choose from we have some preset but in this video I'll show you how to set one up using digital input one we have a function an active and an action the function I'm going to select as low coolant level the active state is defaulted to B minus. So on this sensor, if a ground fault or an energized fault, or if you had a ground or energized sensor and it opened, this is where it would fault, is if you had it open. I'll keep it as B minus, so a ground fault, and the action. So when I have low coolant, I want it to warn, I want it to shut down, a controlled shutdown is if you're in auto and this input went active, you would have a controlled shutdown. So the controller would actually start back up without user intervention, or you can control a relay. Go digital input six, there's nothing there. I want to show you that you can have user set points. You can also have speed set points. If I selected speed, when my active, when this input goes active in the state that I want it to go active in, I'll have action set to not used. And my digital input speed set points, speed one, since I selected speed one, I could set this to, for instance, 1400 RPM. When this digital input six goes active, the controller will go to 1400 RPMs and maintain that until the input goes inactive. Analog inputs. You have eight analog inputs to choose from. Today I'll show you analog input one. So for function, I want to go down to four to 20 discharge pressure. Once I have that set up, I'll go to sensor setup. Discharge pressure, four milliamps. This is where I would calibrate my zero offset. And if I had a thousand PSI sensor, this is where I would change that from 100 to 1000 for calibration. And that analog input, one, is set up for discharge pressure. If I wanted analog input two, set for flow rate, I would do the same by going to sensor setup and changing my flow rate. Towards the bottom of the list of the function, you also have resistive inputs, so oil pressures, coolant temps, fuel level, oil temp, discharge and suction pressure for resistive sensors, pump housing temp, pump oil temp, Analog Digital 3, if you're using all your digital inputs, you can use an analog input as a digital function. 
you can see the menu again this is the digital input menu and your action you can set to warning shut down shut down control relay control the one thing you cannot set is your active set point so you cannot use B plus or open this is a ground input only And that's all for analog inputs. I'll go through relay and digital outputs. This is where we have preset, crank, ECU enable, common alarm, not used, at load clutch, pre-start one delay. We also have two five volt outputs, two B plus outputs. These are FET outputs rated at two amps. And we have two negative outputs rated at one amp. These are also FETs. You can change these. For instance, relay one, if you do not want common alarm, you would just select this menu item and scroll through the menu to whichever set point you want Relay 3 to be active. I, put it, I set it back to common alarm. The same goes for your digital outputs as the relays. And that takes us through the input output menu.